We're live. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, go for it. Go for it. Unmute yourself and go for it. Alexa, God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise Amen. Jesus. I salute you, Pastor Babs. I salute us of Mammy of Pondi. They can call you. I've seen you online. God bless you as well. For for fellowship tonight. Hallelujah. God is good. Oh, all the time nice. and all the time he is good. He is a good father. And that is what he has been on to us this year. I was saying to a friend this afternoon that I don't know the lens from which you will look at the year with or the stand your standpoint, but to me it has been a year, a year of 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 good, a year of 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 great achievement. It has been a wonderful year to me and for my household. And I stand on this. I stand on what David said in the book of Psalm 118. He said, this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad. Hallelujah. Amen. The day the Lord has made. And when David was saying that he did not give details of the day, once the day the Lord has made that day, he knew that the day the Lord made that day, and so the year 2020, 2020 was made a full time. And God sat back and he said, everything that I have made is beautiful. Everything I have made is good. The year 2020 was part of what God had made 
for him to declare to be good. And so 2020 has been a very good year. Paul said that he is confident of one thing, that he who has begun a good thing is able to perform it until the day of Christ. And that is what I've seen the Lord done this year. Mm. I've seen the love of God abounding in ways that we could not expect it, or ways that it could only be the divine power of God. Mm. The love of God abounding in the heart of many across the world. People laying down their lives that others may also live. That is God, really living himself through humanity, even in the midst of difficulty, in the midst of pandemic, even in a year that we think, oh, it's lost. God showing himself strong. That is why Paul said, even in my weakness, your power is made perfect. Hallelujah. Amen. In the weakness of man this year, the power of God has been made perfect. Amen. And I only see the power of God abounding in our lives, abounding in this world. I only see the love of God. I only see the work of God. I've seen the work of God throughout this year from January to December. It has been the work of a good father. Amen. And tonight it is all about, it's all about celebration. It's all about Thanksgiving. Every bit or every section of tonight's service is, is Thanksgiving, is celebration unto God. And I just want us to begin it we, 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 we celebration and, and begin to thank him and say, Father, we just want to appreciate you tonight for, for, for what you have done for us this year. We just want to give you thanks for, for your grace, your grace that abounds on what in every facet of life. We thank you for your love that is shed in our heart abroad, is shed in the heart of many. We thank you, oh God, that even in the midst of chaos, you have stepped in and you have shown yourself strong. Lift up your voice wherever you are and begin to talk. You are such a lovely God. Your love is so great. Lord of all, Sharaba. Thank you, Lord. And the Sharaba Kotoria Zaziri Oshanda. We just want to thank you. Oh, you are faithful, oh God, in the year of pandemic. Oh, God, you are God. Limitation, physical limitation. Bless you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. A good work in us to have to to march and to this day. Father, we love on you because you have first loved us. Even in our weakness, oh God, your power is all about for the tremendous growth in the body of Christ. For we have been the Father declaring and proclaiming the gospel, even in the face of fear. of your spirit in our lives, oh God. Of difficulties in the midst of tribulations, Father, your spirit continues, oh God. We thank you, Jesus. We give you glory. Thank you for your grace, for your mercies, oh Lord. We give you praise. We give you praise. It's all about thanksgiving. It's all about praise. It's all about praise. Oh God. We declare your name for the 
we give you thanks so magnify the lord we give you glory father we give you glory father we give you glory thank you thank you jesus thank you jesus we love on you because you have first loved us praise thank you thank you god thank you god thank you jesus thank you jesus hallelujah I hand over to you, Rev. It's about. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you. Thank Indeed, you. it's been an excellent year. And it will continue to be excellent years ahead of us. Amen. Amen. Nothing more, nothing less. Amen. In fact, not more and nothing less, I should say. Amen. Amen. Uh, Lord, good all the time and all the time our god is good hallelujah thank you thank you father thank you lord thank you lord thank you, lord. amen we are in the mood of celebration hallelujah. we are celebrating life we are celebrating love hallelujah. we are celebrating each other hallelujah so i just want us to enter into this time this session with joy in our hearts just blessing our Father. He Bless is a good God. Bless you, Daddy. He's a good God. Oh, He's a good God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your love is kind. Your love is patient. So you fill my heart with so much peace and joy. Yes, you're you make my life feel brand new. Oh, you're amazing. You make my life feel brand new. Jesus, 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 I tell somebody his love is oh, your love is patient. Oh, you feel my heart with so much. Oh, yes, you're amazing. Oh, hallelujah. You make my life. 
just declare you will sing of the goodness of God hallelujah our God has been good our God has been good and he continues to be good he will not stop being good he will not stop being good father we thank you father we thank you father we thank you Hallelujah. No mountain you will climb up, just coming up to me. No wall you won't kick down, no lie you won't tear down, coming up to me. No shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, coming up to me. No wall you won't keep up, I you won't set up, coming up to me. No shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, coming up to me. No wall you will kick down, now you won't say that, coming up to me. For I spoke the word, you are singing over me. 
Over to you. Anyway. Amen. Amen. Should I go here? Okay. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We thank God. We thank God. We thank God. That was awesome. Um, we thank God. This session is about gratitude. Um, we are going to I don't know, I just want to share something little with you. A lot of us have been focusing, you know, it's the end of the year. Some can't wait for 2020 to be over, to go into 2021, not knowing what is waiting for us there. But in all, we are still grateful, as the scripture tells us that in all things, in all things, we should be, um, we, should, we, should, we should give thanks to God. We should give thanks in all things. It, that includes everything, everything that's happened in the year. I mean, um, we mostly have focused on the negative. You know, a lot, a lot of people, I don't know about you, I know I have focused on the positive. I've seen the great things that God is doing or that has done, used this year to do for us. So um, I just urge us that before, you know, before we go to sleep tonight, if you haven't done it, just take, 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 sit down and reflect on the year. 2020 has been an awesome year. I know most of the time, a lot of us have gone through pain, you know, we've lost love, loved, loved ones and all of that. But look back, sit down and look back at the year. I'll give you an example. Someone like, as I'm looking at Pastor Nana, I know he's a very busy man. <laughs> My husband is also a very busy man. All of you are so busy jumping from one place to the other. But the Lord has found a way of calming you all down. We, this year, we found ways of doing things differently. You know, we found ways of doing things differently. And this, this, the, even the church, things that we never thought we could do. 
You know, when we, I remember the, the year before last year, two years ago, we, people will be mocking that. How can you think the uh, church can work on Facebook? How can you think it can work on uh, this, uh, on this path? And God has proved that these things work. He needs us to calm down. He needs us to, to be still and know that he is God. So this year things have, have life has been good. I don't know about you. I know I know a lot of us are focused on the negative, but I'll say again that we should focus, sit down and take stock of what God has done. He's been good to you and I. He's been, he's been, he's been awesome. And I know, and I know, I just want us to take a minute and thank God just the situations that you thought were bad. Just yeah. open your mouth and thank God and say, Father, thank yeah. you. Thank you, Father, for all these things. Thank you for that yeah. in our lives. He said Father, that you rule in the affairs of men. Everything that is going on, we think, is man. We God has his hand in it. He rules in the affairs of men. So I just we want us to just take a minute, just with a heart of gratitude, La just say, Father, la thank la you for la 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 Thank you for how far you brought us. Thank you for we that which I've been chance. through. Thank you for that which I continue to go through. The, 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 the steps that you, you're, you're showing me, the things that you, you, you're using, the year, everything around me to turn my life around. To move our lives better to a better place in the name of Jesus and the growth. I know you've grown this year like never before. We thank God, just continue to thank God. Father, Lord, we thank you. We thank you. We bless your name. We thank you for indeed you've been faithful. We thank you that you continue to do awesome and mighty things in, in, in our lives. We bless your holy name. We thank you, most high God. We thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for our going out and our coming in. Thank you for the peace, the sound mind that you given unto us. We bless your name, O oh God. We thank you. We bless you. We thank you, King of Kings, Lord of Lords. Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name. Thank you, Father. We thank you. Lord. Thank you, Jehovah. We thank you. You have been good to us, oh God. We thank you that we are alive. I know a lot of us are thinking, Hallelujah. Amen. I know a lot of think, think people are thinking, oh, I lost my job. I did this. This happened. That happened. But guess what? God is still working. God is still doing mighty things. It says in, in um, Isaiah 60, he says, For behold, darkness shall cover the earth, and deep darkness the people. But the Lord will arise over you, and his glory shall be seen upon you. Obviously, his glory is seen in us. His glory is seen in us. And he said that as, 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 as you read down, he said, and his glory shall, um, and the Lord will arise over you, and his glory will be seen upon you. The Gentiles shall come to your light, and the kings to the brightness of your, of your rising. Lift up your eyes all around and see. They gather together, and they shall come to you. Your son shall come from afar, and your daughters um, shall be nest at your side. If, if you can, if, as you read, if you read down, you can see that, um, God is saying that despite that which is going on around us, his light, his light is in us. He's expecting us to walk in his light. He's expecting us to do that um, which he has called us to be, to be light upon the face of the earth. So we just pray and continue to thank God, even as we just, I want us to show gratitude for 2021, okay? That, that, which, is, um, that which we are walking into. Just tell God, Speak as he's using you. He should speak in you tonight. He should show you that which he, he wants you to do. All right. We show him. We are also we are thanking him for what he's going to do in this year. What he's going to use us. The life that he's going to bring in us in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's just continue to pray. Father, we thank you. We thank you that Lord, this is an awesome year that we are walking into. We thank you that we are walking in an awesome year. We are thanking you that we are moving from from light to light from grace to grace, oh Lord. We are moving and seeing great and awesome things in our life. And you're using us to do great and 
awesome things in the name of Jesus Christ. You guys begin to pray, open your mouth, and that you you show you all some things in his word. You open your eyes to see great things. Knowledge is all. Knowledge is all. He says, for lack of knowledge, my people, you will open our eyes to see truth like never before in this year in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you that we will continue to walk in your truth. We will continue to walk in the light that you have shown us in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. Thank you, Father. We bless your name. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Father, we thank you, Father Lord. We thank you. We bless your holy name. Let's open our mouth and continue to stand on the way. Meeting face to face in the building. You'll be shouting and all of us will be raising our hands and sticking our heads up. Don't relax. Just continue to stand on the way. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you. We bless your name. Thank you that indeed 2021 we are seeing awesome things. We worship you, Jesus. You're opening our eyes to a new level of revelation. Oh, my Lord, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you because wisdom is infinite. We never know it all. We thank you. We bless your name. We thank you, my Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. Please, I just urge us that um we should take stock, you know, you just sit down and um, write out the things that, you know, see see the good, you know, see the cup half full, not half empty. And the more, the, the, the more we see um, the great things that he's done, the, the more we, he will, he, we will see that which he's doing. Because if the eye, if we're not seeing right, even when good is right in front of us, even when God has done it, we don't see it. We still we are expecting and hoping, working hard, waiting for it to happen. No, it's been done, and we will work in it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Want to go? God bless you. Um, if Pastor Dixon is there, please, sir. The session that we are entering now, we are looking at care, care and share. Um, and the essence of this is to give the opportunity for as many as are gathered to share. Um, we've got um, 20, 25 minutes for that, um, to share how the year uh, or, or what's it called? Like how um, the 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 year has dealt with you, as how, how God has dealt with you throughout the year. Um, if there is, uh, what was it? I I I wouldn't um, go for songs per se, um, because they, they will probably tend to drag on a little bit. Um, but if there is um, any um, inspiration that you've drawn out for this from this year that you want to share for the benefit of all, if there is a scriptural insight, a spiritual insight that you've gained that you want to share for the benefit of all. If there is any praise report that you want us as a family to join in and celebrate daily with for you or on your behalf, um, the floor is open for that, please. I know, I know Pastor Nana has got um, what to say. I know, I know that for a fact. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Praise God. Hallelujah. I know um, Bishop Yao is putting me on the line. <laughs> God is good. I think um, as we began, our brethren have been encouraging and more or less bringing to mind the great things that has happened. There's quite a lot more good things that has happened. And uh, we just want to bless. Uh, we just want to give thanks to God um, for his goodness. I just want to read a scripture. Um, in First Peter, First Peter chapter um, one and verse number two um, to four. First Peter chapter one and uh, verse number two to four. I'm reading from um, the Mirror Bible. It said, 
your original identity is defined by what God, the father of mankind has always cherished about you. How your pre-Adamic innocence will be preserved in the prophetic word and redeemed through the obedience of Jesus Christ and the effect of the sprinkling of his blood. Realizing his grace and peace exceeds any definition of contradiction or reward. Let us celebrate God. And that is basically what we're doing. Let us celebrate God. And now we're not just talking about, you no. Know, sometimes we have an idea of an external God, but let's celebrate the God in us. The God who has decided to mold and to form us in his likeness. The God that who decided to take the form of you so that he will be able to experience this world in a different dimension. Now, this is this God that we're sort of um, recounting. Now, we're sort of um, thanking and blessing him. Because the truth of the matter is that without God, um, there is nothing that can overcome him. There is nothing that can withstand um, his, um, his plans and purpose. I mean, everything works in harmony to, to um, fulfill the purpose of this God who has decided to make us in his image. He said, let us celebrate God with articulate acclaim. He is the father of our Lord Jesus Christ according to his matchless mercy and tender compassion. He birthed us again when Jesus was raised from the dead. Now we are alive to witness the expectation of the ages unfold. And so there is quite a lot of things that is packaged. Now, when you look at it, if there's anything I would want to cast my mind back, I want to see how people have demonstrated um, the nature of God in them, the love of God in them, irrespective of what they believe or whatever irrespective of um, what religion or irrespective of how, what color or which, what race. People have demonstrated the agape love of God at the highest order, um, going um, beyond the, the norm and coming out so that life can be more enjoyable. The truth of the matter is that um, it's so amazing. There are good things that is happening and um, whatever you give it to your focus, you will energize it, you empower it. Whatever you give it your focus, you empower it. If you give good a focus, you empower good. If you give um, the contrary situation your focus, the truth of the matter is that you give it power. You, the power that God has given you to create and to make things, you basically, um, and transfer it. And so it's more like lending your power to something to hurt you. And so that is why I just want to remind us, and I don't want to talk much because we have quite a number of people on, on, online that we need to enjoy, but it is good for us to count. You know, the Bible even made it clear, count your blessings. <laughs> it did not say count your, your misfortunes. It did not say that means that the truth of the matter, whatever you call misfortune is fake, it's not real. <laughs> the only real thing is the blessing, the goodness, the kindness of God. And that is why, why we, we give it a number. That's why we count it. That's why we give it our focus. And that's what we are here to do. And the beauty is that this God is not going on holiday. He's in you 24 seven, and then going to do a mighty work this year and even the years ahead. I mean, I, 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 my heart is just bubbling with the great things. I mean, the world is in a good order. And I mean, speed of heaven. I mean, we are, in a, we are in a good order. And I can't wait the great testimonies, the great things, the great, as um, how they call it, inventions and things that will be coming forth. And this is the best time to be alive. This is the best time to enjoy God. And I mean, we come back just to say thank you, Jesus. It's been a amazing, amazing. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And to have such a wonderful family around that we can we can depend on, that we can um, reflect on. I mean, it's, it's quite um, relaxing. It's quite enjoying. And so the Lord bless you all. Thank you, sir. <laughs> thank you, sir. <laughs> 
anymore. That's okay. Hello, Rob. I, I know, I know Thunder Fire is there. Thunder Fire, I want to hear from you. That's okay. Rev. <laughs> Uh, yes, um, I also say just a few words to what um, Pastor Nana just said. Few words um, means two minutes. Yeah? Uh, no, just 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 a couple of seconds. <laughs> I'll, I'll just I'll just um, um, add to what Pastor Nana said. Uh, indeed, this year has only been the goodness of God, depending on the standpoint or the lens from which you want to look at the year with. But uh, to me, and I believe to many of us, you cannot look at it any other way than what God has really done. What God has done. As, as Hebrew said that the days are coming when the Lord shall no more be written on walls and on papers, but in our hearts, in our minds. No one shall teach their brother, their neighbor to know the Lord, but all shall know me. That was the word of, of, of God. And we see that in this year. I personally have witnessed um, people doing good to me, people I don't know, I've never seen before. I went to a shop and someone just did good to me because, because of all this COVID thing going on. I went to Tesco at some point, I passed the comment and in a queue of about, about 100 people, everyone started laughing. You know, you could see the love in, in people, you could see the appreciation, people appreciating, appreciating one another and, and, it's, and it's so lovely. So even in the midst of, of, of chaos or even in mass limitation, God is always God. He's always good. He finds a way to, to prove to us that indeed He always loves us. Whilst we were yet without, whilst we were yet without strength, He loved us. And so now, even when, when the limitations of man set in, He still loves us. And then He He He, he expounds his, his love unto us. God has been good this year to me, my household, and I believe to to all of us. It, it has it has been a, a, a good year. Um, if anything at all, I do say this that. Yeah, the year 2020 has really come to test our strength and our weaknesses. It has not been a bad year, but it has been it has come to test our strength, our weaknesses, the things that we were not doing right, and the things that we were doing right that we could we could do it again and again. And so I've I've really embraced the year, going into the next year, not with the residue of the bad things that happened this year, but with 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 a mindset of 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 entering into 2021, with 2020, with 2020 teaching me something that I did not know before, to enter into a new year and then to, 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 to do it the, the, the right way. And that is what God, God, has, God has taught us this year. That he, he, there are so many ways of, of doing things. And even when men could, could not meet, even this year when we could not meet, social media has been there for us. And me for, 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 for that was, this year has been a good year to me. I was that type that I never, I never, I never did anything on social media. Before this year, my Facebook account, the only things on my Facebook were, were way back from, um, um, I think, I think um, 2012, 20, 2010, until the beginning of this year when Reverend Upon Dream just urged me to come on, 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 on Facebook to, to, to do the ministry and, and, and I've really loved it. And it, I've been, it has been impactful. I've seen friends calling me, and I meet people and they do tell me, I we see you on Facebook preaching the gospel. We didn't know you were, you were, you were a pastor. I said, well, yeah, I do. And, and I just give glory to God. I give glory to God. In the midst of chaos, in the midst of fear, he has found a way to, 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 to bring out the gospel in some of us. And then for us to be able to, 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 to carry the mandate as, as, as we ought to. And so it has been a good year. And I urge all of us to, to not carry any, any residue of bad events into the coming year. But go into the coming year with that mindset that God, who has seen us through this year, will see us through the coming year in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. So is the shame, okay? Is it like the test our uh, testimony time? Because we are used to testimony time, not sharing. <laughs> so it's fun for us to understand. Share, okay, share, okay. Or can share. Whichever yeah. you want to call it. You see, you see the challenge with testimonies, yeah? Um, I, I'm, I'm not sure if you were there last time. I was having a chat with Samuel and we are talking about testimonies. I was like, ah, that, um, but why should I go and give testimony? People give testimony when bad things happen to them. You see the mindset? Because we think that we only have a testimony when something went bad and God came in. It's not true. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. Because uh, 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 if we take any cue from David, he said that the, 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 same, the, the, the same God who gave me the urge over the line, who gave me the urge over, he wasn't referring to a bad incident. He was, he was referring to his victories. Hallelujah. Amen. So one more then. Um, Amen. 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 I get, I get all the, all the great men and everyone. This is, that, is that Mr. Zooming? Yes, Rev. That's him. Do your face. <laughs> yeah, you sure want to see my face? My face is looking. Oh, I want to see your face. Well, look at your <laughs> handsome face that you're hiding. I'll go. Nah, my face is looking somewhere. <laughs> oh, I just. I just, I just, I just, I just, I just want to, I just want to, I just want to, uh, just want to thank God for how, how, how the year has been. I know the, the, the norm is the year has been bad and, you know, for, for, for most people, you know, but my story has been different, you know, and uh, this year has been like one of the, one of the, I would say like one of, one of the best years for my, my for school, for myself, my family, you know, and I am I'm, I'm really, really, really grateful unto unto the Father for what He has allowed me, what He has manifested in my life, you know. And on behalf of my family, I just want I just want to say thank you and uh, thanks to ev everyone that has supported myself, my family, and 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 everything. And you know, and I believe 2021 is is going to be even more greater year. So it, it, it doesn't matter what I believe is, it doesn't matter what goes on around us, you know, what goes on around us. It, it's, if, if it's, it's, it's your time for your manifestation to take place, you will see the manifestation of, of what the Lord has said about you. And this year has been that year, this year has been that beginning of that for me and my family. So that is what I have to say. Thank you, Lord. And thank you for the opportunity. Amen. Thank you so very much, sir. How about Sandy? Yes. Over to you, mom. Yeah, thank you so much. And thank you, family. We are indeed blessed of the Lord. And um, for 2021, I just want all of us to have it in our mind, to have it in our heart, that our heart is covered by God and our mind is covered by God. We have the mind of Christ mm. and we have the mind of God. Mm. I love it when John said in the Gospel of John, the last verse of it, which is John 20, 25. John 21, 25. John said, Jesus did countless things that I haven't included here. And if every one of his words were written down and described one by one, I suppose that the world, it, the world itself wouldn't have enough room to contain the books that would have to be written. And, you know, he said what Jesus did. And we all know that Included in what Jesus did is what he said as well. And I love how the mirror captured it by saying the same thing like this. Where the vastness of the work and words of Jesus carefully detailed, the libraries of the world could not contain them. And I look at this and I'm thinking, really, John, are you kidding us? Is this the truth? Is it a hyperbole or something like that? Really? That the world cannot contain that what Jesus did? And I remember he said also in John 16, Jesus saying that, I have so much more to say to you, so much more. And so I'm thinking there's so much more which wasn't written down. Could it be that there's so much more is happening now in us, through us, with us, mm -hmm. because he's speaking to us. 
even as he did the same when he was here with the disciples, he hasn't stopped speaking. I would say that when um, the, the Bible, um, the authors or the Bible was put together, God did not become dumb. He didn't stop speaking. He still speaks. And how I interpret what John said is that God is still speaking to you. God is still speaking to me. And so deep within us, what I'll say is, what is it that you are hearing within you that you know it's not written in any book? And you are thinking, hmm, can this be God? I am here to assure you that he is still speaking. And it doesn't matter whether you haven't read it in any book. It doesn't matter whether you haven't seen it in any book. And it's being impressed in your heart, it's being impressed in your mind. I'm here to assure us all that it is God. He is still speaking to us. He's still at work in us. And there's so much more is happening in all of us. He's got our heart covered and he's got our mind covered. I love it when Hebrews said, the writer of the Hebrews said in Hebrews 8, 10 to 11, how God himself would do the stuff that is written there. And also in Hebrews 10, 16, the same thing is repeated, but then it's, it's changed. And if you take your time, you would see that the heart and the mind are covered because he's saying he will write it in our minds and he will, he will put it in our hearts. And then he will put it in our minds and he will write it on our hearts. And when you read other versions, it's the same, however they do it. The heart and the mind, they are both covered by God himself. He would put it in, he will write it in himself on our minds and in our hearts. And I like it um, how um, Paul puts it in 2 Corinthians 3.3. 3. 2 Corinthians 3.3, 3, let me just read it. From the Passion Translation, it says, as a result of our ministry, you are living letters written by Christ, not with ink, but by the spirit of the living God, not carved onto stone tablets, but on the tablets of tender hearts. Then the four says, we carry this confidence in our hearts because of our union with Christ before God. And I love how the miracle says that the fact that you are a Christ epistle shines as bright as day. This is what our ministry is all about. The spirit of God is the living ink and every trace of the spirit's influence on the heart is what gives permanence to this conversation. We are not talking law language yet. This is more dynamic and permanent than letters chiseled in stone. The conversation is embroidered in your inner consciousness. It is the life of your design that grace echoes within you. So beloved saints, beloved people, I just want us all to know this in 2021. Our hearts are covered by God. Our minds are covered by God. The heart rules, the mind rules. And God has given us his heart. We have the heart of Christ and we have the mind of Christ. So remember this. So whatever it is that comes to mind, that comes to heart, comes to our heart, let's not brush it off. Like I said before, let's not say, oh, I haven't read it in any book. I haven't seen it done anywhere else. Let's just ponder over whatever it is that God is impressing in us. And let's just see whatever desire that he himself is impressing in our hearts and in our minds. Let's see those desires accomplished. Let's see them fulfilled. And even as we see them that way, let's live in the joy of accomplished desires. Let's live in the joy of fulfilled desires and see what happens in 2021. So remember this again, our hearts are covered by God. Our minds are covered by God. We have the mind of Christ and we also have the heart of Christ. The heart rules and the mind rules. And God is at work in us. He has our minds covered and he has our hearts covered. Amen. 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 God bless you, man. Pastor Sam. Yeah. 
Uh, happy New Year to everybody. <laughs> happy New Year, sir. Right. I think my mom has said it all. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, we thank God for this year, for this year for me and my family. This year has been so wonderful. We've, we've really enjoyed this year, honestly. And then I think last uh, Monday I was sharing something. Uh, just a reminder, anytime the year is coming, uh, is coming to an end, I just get this uh, an assur assurance in my spirit. And there is a scripture in uh, Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20, uh, which I wanted to just uh, remind all of us about. And it's a beautiful scripture. You know, when you read Joshua chapter 1, when Moses uh, passed on, I know the word of God came to uh, Joshua said, be strong and be courageous. Uh, in our time, we are strong. We are not going to be strong. We are already strong and we are courageous. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. We are strong and we are courageous. And so I'm here to tell somebody, look, uh, let's keep the focus. The Bible says, uh, let's uh, fix our eyes on Jesus, the altar and what, and the perfecter of our faith. And so you are strong. You are courageous. And so with all expectation, let's march boldly into the year 2021. Amen. Mm -hmm. You know, when you read uh, Exodus chapter 4, uh, the verse 9, the Bible said when they were living, when the Israelites were living in Egypt, they were marching, they were bold, you know, they were marching boldly. And so they, they took their eye off and looked back, Pharaoh and uh, the army coming after them. That's the narrative. But the bit I want us to uh, focus on is that, look, they were marching boldly. They were going, they were confident, you know. The, the expectation was so high, you know, they, they were really rest assured that whatever the Lord has said concerning their life is done deal. Amen. Mm -hmm. And so let, let's keep the focus. Let's, let's fix our eyes on, uh, as we said, on Jesus, the altar and the perfecter of our faith. Let's not take our eyes off. Uh, you are courageous. You are strong. Uh, I would say don't be afraid because fear is not, we are not made a fear is not part of us. Let's keep the focus. Let's let's go there. Let's uh, let's assure yourself that look, all that I need is right within me. Uh, I'll read a scripture from uh, the Mirror Version, uh, Ephesians chapter three, verse twenty, the first bit. It said, "We celebrate Him who supercharged us powerful, powerfully from within. We celebrate Him who supercharged us powerfully from within." Amen. And so we celebrate. So keep your eyes. Re, re, remind yourself that there's what you are celebrating somebody who supercharge you powerfully within. The Bible says, according to the power, some scripture, some, some verses say, according to the power that is at work in us. Always remind yourself there is a power that is at work in you, not at work in somebody, in you. Amen. Mm -hmm. There is a power that is at work in you. Remind yourself of that. So let's keep the focus. Tell yourself, I am courageous. Tell yourself, I am strong. Tell yourself, I'm bold. Hallelujah. You know, you, when, when you wanted to uh, encourage your children or tell them, so I said, oh, be courageous. No, tell them they are courageous. Hallelujah. Be courageous being that you have to become. Now we are already, by the virtue of Jesus, we are not already. And so we are not, we are not going to do something to be bold. We are already bold. We are already courageous. There's a song we used to say, be bold, be strong, for the Lord our God is with you. Amen. Mm -hmm. There is a power that is what, I like the way that says, supercharge us powerfully within. We celebrate him who supercharge us powerfully within. Powerfully within. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All that you need is right within you. You are powerful. You are strong. Anything that you can, you are supernatural. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can operate in any realm that you want. You can go mm. half, whatever your imagination. The Bible is according to what God is able to do, exceeding above, abundantly above what we can ask or imagine. Hallelujah. And so your imagination, whatever you can imagine, is, is right within your reach. Hallelujah. Is right within your reach. And so next time when I'm talking to you, don't tell me 
I try, I try, I put it. Hallelujah. <laughs> I'll tell you, it's right within you. Hallelujah. It's right. Just keep your eyes. Just keep your eyes on him. Keep your eyes on that strength that is within. Don't take your eyes off. Don't take out. Oh, there is a power that is right within. So you are capable. That's all I wanted to tell you. Much as they were marching. The Bible, I like the bit that said they were marching boldly. They were marching. You know, that you first you go everywhere, everybody's charged. Everybody wants 12 o'clock to win. No, we are already within it. Hallelujah. We are That's already right. within it. And so I'm telling you, there is, there is, it's all, it's all within. It's all within. It's all within. Don't be afraid to make the decisions. Go for it. Hallelujah. Go for it. If you want to buy the private jet, go for it. Go for go it. For it. <laughs> Ah. Whatever you want, go for it. I tell you, go for it. That's right. Yeah, yeah. If you want me to buy and give you one thing, no problem. Just give me and then I'll ship it to your address. Amen. That's right. And so That's right. don't be afraid to make decisions. Go for it. Decision making 2021 from today. Go for it. Make the decision. Go for it. There's a scripture we all know the steps of the righteous are ordered by God. He has already ordered our steps. Hallelujah. Let's make that decision. Let's make that say, he's capable. We are capable. What you said, God is capable. That means God have to no, he's already in the he's already in the picture. When you make that decision, it's God that is making that decision. Amen. Amen. Mom said our heart is covered, our mind is covered. We have the mind of God. You know, don't wait for any audible voice. No, you have the mind of God. So when you make a decision, it's God that is making that decision. Hallelujah. Uh, so if I make a decision to buy you a car. It's God that has made that decision to buy you a car. Right. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. And so 2021, don't, don't sit back. Make decisions. Big ones, not the small ones. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Make big ones. And I'll tell you the manifestation will be evident for all to testify for the goodness of God. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. So we celebrate him who supercharged us powerfully from within. We celebrate him who supercharged charged us Powerfully within. Don't forget that quote. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't forget that quote. So that's all I want to say. Uh, enjoy. Let's all enjoy the service. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, and it's it, it it's just rightly stated. Often at times we 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 tend to give in to fear. We 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 tend to look to circumstances that are contrary. And um, I, I love it. Boldness is everything. Uh, um, I, I remember um, my, my um, when I joined the army first in my first unit, my 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 officer commandant made a statement that kind of struck with me. He he looked at us and it was like, "Now you have left um, training world. You are in real world." And um, as part of the values of the British Army, uh, courage. Is, is, is key, both um, physical courage and moral courage. And he said this, that's, that has stayed with me and has been my guiding principle since. He said that um, um, goodness or fortune favors the bold. And everybody loves to follow a bit of confidence. It, it, it just hit me and, and it kind of changed me. So, Naturally, I, I, I like to think of myself as a confident person, but that those words were the words which gave me that extra spring in my steps. And the more I, I engage with life, the more I realize that that is not far from the truth. It is absolutely the truth. You go anywhere, no one likes to follow a chicken. Everyone likes to follow the guy who is confident even when he's wrong. Hallelujah. BB. Hallelujah. Jesus. It's been a wonderful session so far, and we thank God so much. Um, my own Papa, God bless you for this opportunity. And I want to say that just like we've all have said, 2020, me and my family, it's been one of the best and fantastic year we can talk about. Through it, through it all, through it all, the ups, the downs, the side race, it's been just wonderful. But one thing I'd like to share with us before I give us a very short 
in clothes that God, just like our mommy said, God is still doing something new for us. Um, I want to share with us this short verse and then quickly I'll do what I have to do. It's in Luke chapter 2 verse 10. I know most of us have read the whole of Luke over and over. I have done that as well, but about three nights ago, when I got to the verse 10, the Spirit of God just stopped me and and he said that, but the angel said to them, do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good news and great joy, which will come to all the people. Because we have the mind of God in us and the heart of God with us. Beloved, 2021 is, ex is going to be extraordinary. I was telling a few people that because of what 2020 did to most people, I am hardly seeing people making resolutions. They are not making those kind of <laughs> positive statements and positive um, dreams like our Papa uh, Sam just said. They are not dreaming big because they don't know what 2021 will surprise them with. But I have news for you that God is bringing good news and great joy to all of us. And so let's just be focused. Let's just stand firm and watch out for it. Hallelujah. Amen. So I say, shepherd of my soul, I give you full control. Wherever you may lead, I will follow. I have made the choice to listen to your voice. Wherever you may lead, I will go. Shepherd of my soul, I give you full control. Wherever you may lead, I will follow. I have made the choice to listen to your voice. Wherever you may lead, I will go. 2021, shepherd of our soul, we give you full control. Wherever you may lead, we will follow. We have made the choice to listen to your voice. And wherever you may lead, we will go. Feed in a quiet pasture by a gentle stream. The shepherd of my soul is by my side. I should I face the mighty mountain or a valley dark and deep. The shepherd of my soul will be my guide. Should I face a mighty mountain or a valley dark and deep? The shepherd of my soul is by my side. I, should I face a mighty mountain or a valley dark and deep? The shepherd of my soul will be my guide. Oh, shepherd of my soul, I give you full control. Wherever you may lead, I will follow. I have made the choice to worship at your feet. Wherever you may lead, I will go. I sing for you today, shepherd of your soul. Just give him full control. And wherever he may lead, brethren, just follow, follow, follow. We have made the choice to worship at his feet. So wherever he may lead, we will go. It in a quiet pasture or valley dark and deep. 
help out of my soul, be my guide. Should I face a mighty mountain or a valley dark and deep? A help out of my soul, be my guide. Should I face a mighty mountain or a valley dark and deep? Shepherd of my soul, is on my side. I should you face the mighty mountain, all a valley dark and deep. The shepherd of our soul will be our guide. So 2021, shepherd of my soul, I give you full control. Wherever you may lead, I will follow. I don't know about you, but I have made a choice to listen to his voice. Wherever he may lead, I will go. Be it in a quiet pasture or a valley dark and deep. Shepherd of my soul is by my side. I should I face a mighty mountain or a valley that can be. Shepherd of my soul is by my side. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God richly bless you, B. Um, she's actually my sister in law. And um, God bless you, dear. God bless you. It's been mega. We are we are we are gathering momentum. Um, and as um we we are we are, we we shared um last week, this session is or oh, um this is going to be for those of you joining on Facebook. God richly bless you. Really appreciate your your sustained viewership and your participation. You are part of what we're doing, and even though you're not present here on Zoom, I will just want to encourage you, um, just get yourself immersed into what we're doing. Trust me, you are gonna have definitely something tangible that you can trace to this particular meeting. I can guarantee you that, okay? And and and, and keep an open mind, keep an open mind. If there's anything we're doing that you don't understand, something that doesn't sit well with you, don't reject it at first. You know, um, I love what Richard Branson says, says, that when someone presents you an opportunity that you don't, you are clueless about, Embrace it and after that, after we'll figure how. Okay, so embrace what we're doing and after that, think back and start asking your questions after this. But enjoy it. Hallelujah. We 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 thank God. I'm not I'm not going to bore it so much. Um I I, I just want to um uh, uh, um encourage us in the same tone of encouragement. And at the end of this, um we have a contemplative um time of 10, 15 minutes, and after that, um they, they, we, we we follow or we follow after with the prophetic release. So if you're waiting for prophecies, trust me, we do prophecies here too. Okay, <laughs> so don't 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 run away yet. Don't run away yet. Okay, um, yeah. God God speaks all the time. He doesn't only speak on thirty first. There are lots of prophecies in quotes or prophesies hanging in the air. Um, don't 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 fall prey to any prophesy. Listen to the inner voice as the pastor what was called, pastor, uh, 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 Sam said. Listen to the voice of God in you. The greater one is inside of you. Hallelujah. And, uh, uh, and when Yama was sharing earlier on about the fact that we should be optimistic and see the cup as being um, half um, um, full rather than half empty, I say that we should see 2021, see the cup as overflowing. Hallelujah. It's the, 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 there are no halves. There are no halves in here. It's overflowing. It's, ju it's just bubbling. It's bubbling and it's overflowing. Okay. See it as such. And trust me, it's onto you according to what you have organized inside of you because the greater one lives in you. I believe you're optimistic about 2021. And the reason is you, you, you look forward to um, 2020 passing on so that you can jump on the 20, to 2020, and that's good. I was saying this humorously, and I mean it um, because I was thinking about it, that, what I was calling about it last night. Often at times, um, in as much as we desire to jump into a new year, it's the new, the year can only be as new as you get renewed. Hallelujah. It's only a new year if you are renewed. 
if you don't experience renewal in your mind, renewal on your inside, the only thing that will change for you is what you put at the end of your date. So you, instead of writing 2020, you are just changing right now. You are now writing 2021. That's the only change that you have if you don't change. It amazes me how often, as I say, the eagerness with which the, um, we, 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 we want to see one year of because we are always tempted to think that the coming year is going to bring something better than what we have experienced. Hallelujah. But if we approach 2021 with the same attitude, with the same tactics, with the same character, with the same mindset of 2020, our lives will experience no shift. We wouldn't experience any change. A few years back, I was um, reading the scriptures in Isaiah 46, and um, I, I, I um, um, verse 8 to 10 particularly struck with me. And I enjoyed it so much, I decided to paraphrase it. I'll read you my version. You can look in your scriptures and see what your version says. Um, so I kind of paraphrased it, and I like the way I put it, because it was something that I was receiving as I was reading the scripture. Isaiah 46, verse 8 to 10, says this. It says, bear this in mind and be established. Remember what has been done before, for I am the Lord and there is no one but me. Declaring the end from the beginning and from before time, the things that are to be done, saying, my counsel shall stand and I will do all my good pleasure. I say it again. Bear this in mind and be established. Remember what has been done before, for I am the Lord and there is no one but me, declaring the end from the beginning and from before time, the things that are to be done, saying, my counsel shall stand and I will do all my good pleasure. Hallelujah. So in thinking that the scripture in Joshua chapter 11, 15 comes to mind when the man of God charged Joshua. And Bible records in, um, in, in Joshua chapter 11, verse 15, that as the Lord commanded the servant Moses, so Moses commanded Joshua. And Joshua did it and he left nothing undone of all that Moses commanded him. There was nothing outstanding. He completed every, everything was accomplished in total. What startles me from um, the passage in Isaiah that I read, which has stuck with me for the past three years, is the fact that he says that his counsel stands and his good pleasure is fulfilled why? Because he declares the end from the beginning. His counsel is established and his good pleasure fulfilled because he declares the end from the beginning. How are you desiring 2021 to be? What is the picture of 2021 that you've got on your mind? Hallelujah. What needs to happen in 2021? for you to consider it accomplished? What needs to happen in it for you to consider it going well the way you want? I'm not here to teach you the sack eggs. I'm not here to teach you how to um, what, what, what called, plan your life and set your goals and all those things. But th there are certain, certain basic things which are scriptural to do. And as believers, often at times we take for granted because as um, I love um, the, 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 the scripture that Pastor Sam quoted, it's my favorite, it's, it's my favorite scripture. Ephesians 3.20, he's able to do exceeding abundantly above what we ask or imagine. We have done enough asking. We need to think. We need to build our imagination. We need to raise the sensitivity and the vibration of our, what, what, what was called of our feeling and our being as well. Hallelujah. <laughs> and if you want to apply the Habakkuk 2.2 principle, Make it plain on paper so that you'll be motivated. 
a couple of years ago, I, I, uh, I'm back in 2020, um, my wife started a habit and um, I saw her do it. And I had read it in a book, but I didn't practice it. And when I saw her practicing it religiously, I was like, whoa, with such, with, with such consistency, and, well, called consistency and commitment. She wake up every morning and write her goals. Every day without fail. Every day. Every day. I, I, I remember very well, 2017, she was doing it. Every single day without fail, she, every morning she wake up when I'm snoring, she writing her goals down. And I was, I, 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 I was lying to myself that I was writing mine on my phone. I, you know, sometimes I would do, sometimes I'll forget. But the point is, I decided 2018 to try it. And by fluke, at the end of the year, just 10 goals, seven of them had been achieved. Would you call it chance? Maybe, I don't know. I don't know how it happened. But what I know is I wrote them down and some way, somehow, consistently, that my subconscious, the subconscious, was, was called conscious man gets programmed with it. Hallelujah. Get them down. It doesn't matter, don't prejudge. And I, I, I can just share briefly um, um, how I do it. I just sit down quietly, set myself a timer. I'm gonna do it tonight again. A lot will probably not change, but I'm just giving myself a chance. Set yourself a timer, five minutes, bang, and just write whatever comes to your mind. Don't prejudge, don't, whatever comes to your mind, just write it down as, 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 as fast as you can, it, 10 or more, but after that, we just prioritize it to 10, okay? And now you look at it and you eliminate, you, after you prioritize it, eliminate any form of vagueness in them. So nothing like, oh, um, I want to write a book. Because when I was doing my writing project, I told myself that I want to write a 220 page book, but that is too ambitious in my mind. So very simply, I'm just going to write 20 minutes a day. That is achievable. And I just, uh, you just keep doing it. Small sizable chunks. You want to, if it's about income, rather than I want to earn 50,000. So it's, it's, it's quite, it's quite I, I don't even know why I'm saying this. Uh, <laughs> it's easy for, for you to get into the place where you go, oh, um, I want to earn 100,000. Okay, that's fine. But if you are currently earning 20,000, you're saying 100,000, just a wish it might not be believable. So if you want to double your income, it's something that's practical. Hallelujah. So I'm, I'm just throwing this in there for the benefit of someone who probably hasn't given thought to um, 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 being uh, meticulous about our goals and uh, what I call it and stuff like that. And don't think about how it's going to happen. He says he declares the end from the beginning. And I realize this is something that authors do. You, or um, 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 whether playwriters or um, 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 what's called movie writers or, or, or book writers, they have in mind exactly what you want the story to be at the end. And now you begin to structure the script so that it fits that end. That's how he does it. He tells, he, he tells us where he's going. He never, he, he never fills it in with the details. And we just surrender and we go with the flow. And as you consistently day in, day, day in, day out, keeping that positive mental picture, it happens. But when we give in to fear, we consign our lives to regrets and to failure. And with this, there are no guarantees per se. Because, um, but so long as you are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are so convinced of the picture and you just, you, you just can't let go, you wake up and it's with you. Two days ago, my wife shared with me, a, 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 I was call it a video, and she had seen it on a friend's timeline, and he was like, no, this guy will like this. And she mentioned me, and I said, please, 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 tell that lady to send me that video, because I tried to um, capture it, but I couldn't. And she sent me, she, she, she sent a video to me. There's a neighborhood in America where the entire neighborhood, like five streets, everyone on that street has a private jet. And where people have drives for their cars, people are having hangers in their houses. I'll, 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 I'll share this with you later on. 
And I'm like, wow, it just blew me. I said, it's, it's not, it's, this, is not in, this is not in heaven. It's here, here, right here. The whole neighborhood, their streets are like airstrips. Massive streets, every, every single one has got a jet pack in front of you. As I said, this is what I want. I know Pastor Nana's um, was called appetite is wet already because he, 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 he <laughs> you know, <laughs> And take me by my wife, sir. You know, he's my mentor anyway. <laughs> you know, it, 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 it just blew me and I just can't recover from it. I, I just keep watching it and watching it and watching it and watching it. Today, I've watched it like five times. The same video. It's only about one, 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 one minute, um, 30 seconds. As soon as I saw it, I was like, wow, this is it. I just love it. I, 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 I want to live somewhere like that. And trust me, I don't know how it's going to happen, but I know it will and you come and visit me. <laughs> Hallelujah! It will happen, and you 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 pay me a visit, and I know and, and I strongly believe that it will happen for you as well if you if, if that's what you are desiring. We are not saying that tough and and seemingly unwelcoming days will not come, but when they do, we see those um, seeming setbacks and those um, 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 obstac uh, as obstacles as just opportunities. When Edison filled over a thousand times um, with the lab of experiment. I love what he said. He didn't say that he has filled a thousand times. No, that a light bulb experiment was a thousand times, well, that's quite a thousand steps to get to it. It's as simple as that. Right there in impossible, I love it. This sounds cliche, but it's true. Right there, is, right there in impossible is written, I am possible. It depends on where you decide to place your apostrophe. Hallelujah. We, we, we are still in church, you know. We are still in church. We are still in church. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. So we, 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 we just need to think about it in the sense because, listen, we were sharing this when we were doing the um, 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 Thanks Spirit series. And I said that I've, I, I have realized that... Um, what happens on the outside of us only forms 10% of what is real to us. 90% of what is real to us happens inside of us. It happens inside of us. So if you are waiting for external stimuli to, to, to get you happy, if you are waiting for something to happen on the outside of you to, to get motivated, you are, you are looking at it, you're, you're working it the wrong way. You're putting the car before the horse. It's inside of you, according to the power that is at work inside of you. That's why for, 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 for us, we no longer look up to the mountains. We no longer, we no longer lift our eyes to the hills. Where is the hill? I find that door, which one? Oh, Kilimanjaro. Where is the hill? David could only point to a hill because to him that is where God was, but that God is now resident in you. So we look within. Hallelujah. We don't, we, we don't look out. We don't look up. We look in. Which in? Hallelujah. The wells, the, the, the wells are on the inside of us, and that is where we reach. That is where we tap. I was reading the prayers of the cosmos. And um, I, I picked something from pages um, 86 and 87. I just read for, 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 for our benefit. Um, um, that, that's a book written by Neil Douglas Klotz. Uh, um, he's a scholar, okay, and a theologian. And he was, he was saying, uh, um, most of us who um, follow um, Great Britain might, might have heard this. And uh, when he mentioned, I went and I, I read the book and I found the, 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 the entire excerpt. So the man says that John 16, 23 to 24 have been edited. And what we read from the King James in, in particular is not exactly what is in uh, how, how it was put. And I love the way he puts it. So John 16, 23 to 24 says, all things that you ask straightly and directly from inside my name, you shall be given. So far, you have not done this. Ask without hidden motive, that is without prejudging, 
and be surrounded by your answer. Be enveloped by what you desire that your gladness will be full. All things that you truly are directly from inside my name. That is from my nature, from your imagination because he lives in you. When you, when you actually say you're seeking the face of God, it actually means you're looking inside of you. That's, That's where he is. His face is not fasting and praying and, and looking to look into a wall. He's in you, so his face is in you. So far, you have not done this. So far, you have not done this. What he was trying to say was, what they have always been doing was them asking with their voice. But now ask with your imagination. The condition you want. Do not be judgmental. Forgive yourself. And be present. Be in the present with grace. And be surrounded by the answer. Hallelujah. Praying from the place that you are already in belonging. You are already in the beloved. And nothing escaped from you. Stillness, as we say, has become one of the lost arts in Christianity. We know how to be noisy. We know how to be cacophonous. We don't know how to be still. We can't, we, we can't sit still for anything. 31st night, you look, go look in some places, noise everywhere. The psalmist says in 4610, be still and know, we forget that. That I am the Lord, I am God, and I'll be exalted in heaven. I'll be exalted among all the heathen. As I tell you, uh, Vasco 15 also says, that in stillness, and quiet you shall be your confidence, but you would not. In stillness. Hallelujah. For the, for the, for the next... 10, 15 minutes ahead of us. I'm just going to put some music in the background. And I want us to get into ourselves. I just encourage us. It might, if it's unfamiliar to you, if you're watching, to, if you're watching us on Facebook, as I said, don't prejudge. Just come to a place, join in. If you don't understand it, I will explain to you later. Just join in, just follow. Just pretend. If you are confused, just pretend for the next 15 minutes. Just pretend that you know what we are doing. Okay? And um, at the end of it, we'll sort it out. Hallelujah. So I'm just going to put some music in the background. And um, I, I will provide some leads. I'll, I'll, I'll provide some guides just for the benefit of anyone who is not used to um, contemplation. Because it is, it is trust me, um, um, it's, it's, it's become my escape. I'm not saying you can pray and scream, you can pray and shout. But it's the place of yielding, the place of surrounding, the place of letting flow and ease find you. It's consecration. That's why Jesus will say that not my will, O oh God, your will be done. It, 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 it was an act of surrendering. And a great while before it was day, he will step out and enjoy some quietude. Scriptures will say that Isaac will go out in the field and meditate. He didn't go with any scriptures. He just went there to be quiet and listen to the God within him. Hallelujah. So I just want you to just position yourself in a way that you are most comfortable. And if there are distractions about, or as call it, around you, don't let it bother you so much. The distractions that you have around you are pointers to just bear with me. They, they are just pointers to what is happening on the inside of you. Hallelujah. Just be, be, begin to think about Father's goodness. Just think about his goodness. Mm.
Just taking a deep breath. In through the nose and out through the mouth. And relax. It's okay to let your mind wander so long as your awareness is on what we're doing. Just ask yourself a question. What is the next stage of my own unfolding? What is trying to emerge right now in my life, even as I face a new year? What talents are trying to find expression through me? What good is trying to emerge in your, in your life right now? It doesn't matter whatever question you choose to ask. The most important thing is you listen for an answer. Expect to hear an answer. Yes, think on it. Imagine yourself experience what you are truly desiring irrespective of prevailing circumstance. Every fear, every doubt disappears. Says he that observed the wind shall not sow, neither does he who observed the cloud reap. Regardless of the contrary circumstance, you are accepting that it's all part of the journey. And it doesn't have a negative effect or a negative impact on the outcome. Because Father God has already determined the outcome. And as it with this, I want you to imagine a stream of radiant light filling your mind with positive energy. Flowing down your spine. Ezekiel said that your word was shut up like fire in my bones. See that glow, see that radiance, see that light, see that energy, see that, feel that heat, feel the sensitivity of it. 
throughout your body. Feel it in your belly. And as you ask on the talents that you're trying to get or that are trying to get expression through, you also ask, what is the next thing that I need to know, that I need to do? What action must I take to help bring forth this thing that I'm desiring to pass? Just sit with it. What is the highest vision of your life right now, even as it pertains to 2021? What is God's own idea about you for you? Now begin to imagine that you already have what you want. Whatsoever things you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive them and you have them. Imagine the feeling of you already attained this, the excitement that you get with it. Feel the excitement, just feel it, feel it, feel it, feel it, feel it. Feel it, feel it. Maintain it. And you're thinking on it and making that commitment that you are going to rehearse this feeling of excitement throughout this year. God and all of creation knows the essence of what you are desiring and what you are looking for. And everything is being yielded to you right now, in this very moment. Your present is coinciding with your future. It's right here and now. Even as you are open to this possibility that you are being guided by divine guidance, by divine presence, by the great one inside of you. And now say to yourself positively that your stream of opportunities never runs out. And all things are given to you in this moment, even as you accept it, because he has given you all things freely to enjoy. Nothing is hidden from you because your mind is unrestricted. Your, your spirit is not resistant. And you are in the right flow. Your mind, your heart is kept. No more stress, no more strain, no more worry, no more fear, no more doubt, no more defeat. Flow finds you. That which you're looking for, that which you seek is seeking you. Even as you let go of how it's going to happen, because you know that he, he has defined the end from the beginning. He has defined the end from the beginning. So it doesn't matter how the journey looks. You are maintaining this focus on your desire. Because your higher self and your inner man knows how he's going to get it. And you are not stressing about it. Everything necessary for the fulfillment of your heart desire is lovingly and harmoniously coming to you. It finds you now. And now just put your right hand on your chest, on your heart. And just feel the search of willingness because you are releasing yourself and you're saying that you are willing, you are ready, you are receptive, you are grateful. You're seeing a future without limits, a future without obstacles. Great grace is attending every step of yours. In Jesus' name.
Now begin to relax and wake yourself up. We call it done. Hallelujah. Amen. Bishop. You're muted, sir. Wow. Thank you very much to all of us on Zoom and those of us on, on Facebook. I think in future. We will end on this. So I come, I mean, whoever is doing it, come because um, it's one of those that you still feel like, you know, keeping it. So I'm just, I'm going to be very, very, very um, um, brief. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And number two, uh, let's I forget, I think we'll, I think every, every, every chess session, every chess session, probably we need to, um, and my wife was suggesting this to me, that we need to do this. After the preaching is said, you know, we do this and we go away. Um, it, it's, it's amazing. <clears throat> it's amazing. You know, we, I guess some people define prayer as communication. But unfortunately, I guess, I think the, uh, it, it's more of um, monotonous than communication because we get to do a lot of the talking. And so listen, if you if I mean, over the over the uh, months in the year you've been talking, talking, talking. So this just this 10 minutes, you've kind of you know been quiet and as he has spoken to us. And let it be a practice, yeah. That please, this is no new age, it's no uh, voodoo, it's no what's the other one? <laughs> this this is it. And number two, not only can you do this for yourself, you can do this for anybody. That you we love to you know we want to pray for another it's so amazing you know it's just, especially parents screaming and yelling don't worry see the child the way he or she is now you want him to be old. so the person is already like that so see him or her in that light yeah anyway i'm not gonna it's, it's, it's sweet you keep it next sunday and every day that we come to preach we'll end on this on this note you know um, if, if you don't mind anyway um, so thank you very much for my session, uh, for this session. And thank you all for, for so far. It's been awesome. I'm just going to be picking what has been said um, so far, and then we go. Uh, please, um, I will leave the, what, what, I'll leave the, the some of the, some of the, the rituals to some of you to do. Um, you know, it's a year of this, and God says he's going to decay this one, this and that, that one. I'm not going to, you know, my, my I'm not, you know, I'll leave it to you, and I'm not, I'm not, don't, don't, don't say what I was going to say. I'll leave it, I'll leave it. I'm not going to touch it, yeah? <laughs> so that one, yeah, maybe that's why you're gonna close very soon so I can go to the other place and get that one. That one, um, it's, it's not, it's not. <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna, I'm just gonna repeat some of the things that is being said, um, you know, and uh, hit a thing or two. This year, some of my highlights has been um, seeing God in people, as we've been said tonight, uh, tonight. and you know, um. Like today, we thank God. I um, mean, in churches and wherever we go, we want to thank God for the Father. You know, you know, we're able to breathe, we're able to eat, we're able to go to number two, we're able to A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and all that. And then, then I'm also saying that you know what? Thank God that we're able to go to number two. But then number two, the, that thing that we sat on, somebody maintains it. The driver, the bus driver, that took me from A to B to work. You know, I thank God I went to job, but somebody drove me to work. But sometimes I think we become so heavenly, it's not being heavily bound. I mean, I, I don't even, it's not being we become so one-sided or whatever the word is. Like, you know, we just go on and need to thank you. God, 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 God. Listen, let's also make time and say to ourselves. You see, the reason why I think we don't, people, some people don't see that is um, how this God is over there and this God is in Christians and this God is good to those that are good and all that. So it, it doesn't even give us the... The, 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 the site or the picture to see, ah, I went to Tesco, the, 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 uh, the person at the table who served me, this is God serving me. I was in a hotel, the person who checked me in, look at the way he, uh, she spoke to me, look, look at the way uh, the person who went to uh, make, make sure the room is tidy. Sometimes, you know, we take small things for granted and think, you know, it's my right, I go to hotel, 
or I go to Tesco, I buy my things. No, no. God is at Tesco all the time serving us. I'm a believer that God is in everybody. And I've said it, and let me also say this. To me, there's nothing like mundane and miracle anymore. There's nothing like mundane and miracle. Both, both are one. The miraculous is the mundane, and the mundane is also the miraculous. My point is so that, so that we'll be able to see. Let me say this. We are all busy trying to please God and thank God. See, but I said this also, I was learning from my pastor Sam uh, Pondre. <laughs> he says he's joking sometimes. He's not joking, but he's joking. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, see, you see, sometimes we are busy going to God, and God is also busy coming down to Pastor Nana's house, coming down to Barbara's house. And God is saying, can you meet my Barbara's house? Barbara has, a, has a, uh, this thing on her mic. Can you all meet there and just, just make it happy? But we are busy going to the God upstairs. God said, I'm also busy coming down. You understand? Sometimes we are busy. God said, the bus driver who drove you, the mechanic who sorted your car, the cleaner who cleaned that office. Listen, it was me that morning who walked in there to clean that office for you. And so next time we come to, uh, you, see, you, see that, you see the cleaner uh, at that office, take your time and say, and say, Madam or Sir, thank you. You've done what Napoleon could not do. So we are not talking to you. <laughs> you know, um, so that was my, my phone, uh, you know, <laughs> the iPhone, <laughs> you know, and all that. To me, um, it will really rest all of us. I mean, cause, you, cause, cause of us to be restful and cause of us to be able to, this, see, they talk about energy here, cause the energy level to be able to be stronger and bigger. And when they, 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 they said they're gonna uh, lock us down for a second time, I said, well, I've listened. I think we need to organize a group of people. And all we do is enter into meditation and contemplation to see these things reversed. No, I'm not talking about chaka, chaka, chaka. I'm talking about pure meditation and contemplation, where we, we imagine um, you know, these things. Because people, the heart of many are, 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 if you like, are feeling them. But in contemplation and imagination, where we, we, of course, you know what I'm talking about. And then we, we, we see this in the trend, you know, turn around. Uh, we talk about it, you know, uh, some of you, some of us on now, we talk about it some other time. It's possible. We're not going to go to any mountain. The mountain has come to us. We're just going to, in a very relaxed way, say to ourselves, this is not part of the deal. And the energy is with you. The strength is in you. The Holy Ghost is in you. And all that, that you and I will be able to turn some of these things around. As you're going to the year ahead of us, in addition to many things that have been said, and of course, God is going to speak to you. I mean, I was talking to us, and I like what my wife said, and Pastor Sam said, and most of us have said, listen, don't be afraid to, uh, to dare. Don't be afraid to, you know, when God is speaking to you, you know, don't be afraid at all. Come on now. Um, I said to people, uh, it is very difficult, if not impossible, for me to make mistakes in hearing what that is saying. And listen, I've gone past those things. I'm going to see the will of God. I don't need, I, I know the will of God. Because every morning it bubbles in the inside of me. It's that is one of the easiest things to know is God's will. Easy. You don't have to go and fast and pray. It, it comes like it's always it's, it's always being shown to you. It is something when you go to pray that you will miss it. And so because I think it's so easy, so plain, so 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 free. And you have you have to lock yourself away to just cha 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 cha. And you are confused, you know, and 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 all that. So um Am I, am I being prophetic or I'm just babbling on? Flow, flow, sir. Flow, flow, flow. <laughs> I said, we'll close. What's your time? Oh, yeah, yeah. We're going to close. I said, you know, if this one is not whatever, you can go in here. Flow, flow, one. flow. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> oh, God's going to kill every animal in the world. Now, that's not, that's not my style. You know, I'm just, I'm here. I'm, I breathe hope and I breathe life. You know what I'm saying? Right. As so much, most of us, I mean, all of us do here on this on this line, and those of us listening to us, listen to me. So you see, it is it is um it is so 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 um uh, you know important that you are mm, no no you, you no hear it and just go for it. Ask most people that have done stuff. Most people said that they were wrong, they were stupid, they were dumb, they were this, they were that. And then two years down the road, they ah hooray! Listen, come on now, go for it. They will call you names. It doesn't matter. You know, they, they please don't fight back. You know, don't, 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 don't get upset and all that. No, 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 you go for it. Yeah, go for it. Go for it, go for it, go for it. And, um, you know, tomorrow, 
if some are some are good at being invited to eat that's some, some some of us are good some of you are good at cooking and some of us are good at eating yeah so <laughs> everybody has great ministry one way or the other you understand so please it is very very um, important be bold be courageous and hear what is into you and go for it and the good news is that like uh, so most of you have said listen it is very difficult if not impossible to get it wrong i repeat it is very very difficult if not impossible to get it wrong and so don't be on the on the edge of um, thinking poverty, thinking luck, think I'm going to be wrong. No, say to yourself, I can't get it wrong. It's not arrogance. <laughs> That's the truth. How can God live in inside of me? And, and you know, it, it's so intertwined, connected with me. And then, and then, no, no, it's, it's just not possible. If, 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 it's just not possible. I'm not being overwhelmed. I'm telling you, well, listen, like I said, sometimes you say people are at different levels. And otherwise, just let me throw it in, uh, in there. So there's something to go and think about. At least if you have something to go and think about, yeah? So please, it's very, very um, important. Hear what he's saying to you as a person. Mm? What he's saying to you, what from what he's saying to me. And please get up in the morning, whatever thing he's saying to you, you, know, you go for it. Um, like some of these things, meditation and contemplation, help you to be able to, you know, believe in yourself first. Like I, sometimes, I, one time I said to some people, it, it doesn't matter who doesn't believe in you. Do you believe in yourself? Do you? Believe in yourself. If you believe in yourself, then everybody else believe in everybody else believe in you. I repeat, it doesn't matter who doesn't believe in you. Do you believe in yourself? Do you love yourself? Do you see yourself as great? Now, if you if the answer to this is ah, yes, then everybody else. You say something that sometimes is the interpretation we give to the happenings. It's interpretation, perception, interpretation. It doesn't like no, 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 no. That is your perception. That's your interpretation. Are you with me? So as we go into the, the year ahead of us, please. Number one, I'm going to leave us. Number one, instead of us talking to a God upstairs, please, the God that is in the bus driver, that is in the cleaner, that is in my wife, that is my husband, that is my child, that is the God we need to serve and honor and appreciate. Please, I'm not teaching you to go and, you know, let me, I should, even be, I should stop this since I'm not, I'm not this, I'm not, how, you have to, no, no. So now we apologize, like, what is this? Just say what you want to say. Let me say this, let me put it this way. I personally, I don't, I, I think based on scripture that there's nothing like idol worship. Boom. <laughs> there's, not, there's no idol, there's only one God. That's right. It's the practice and the language that sometimes is different. When Paul went, when Paul went to ask them, I went to Athens. And Paul made a, he said something like, you know, the idol, you know, he used the word idol, and then he corrected himself. How, how did I know? The guy said, I've seen that you guys are religious. We know you had already used the word idol for them. And then he said, I said, you guys are religious and because you've related to an unknown God. And he says, the God that you captain, uh, captioned unknown, he says, I've come to kill him. Was, I've come to read that God to you and in you. So he ran, Paul, Paul didn't fight them because they were, because, Paul didn't even dwell on the fact that the guys were worshiping idols because there was no idol worshiping. Idol worshiping is a, is a, is a, is a perception from the outsider. I'm telling you, my brother, there's, you know, uh, boy, 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 please, please, please hear me, hear me. And like we said, go back and reflect, go back and think through things, go back and think through things. Otherwise, if, if there's other worship, then we are all idol worshippers. Then <laughs> all Christians are idol worshippers. Is it because you mention Jesus? Or is it because you pray? Is it because you have an auntie? I'm telling you that we are idol worshippers. <laughs> you know, it doesn't exist. These are some of the things you know we are throwing in there for people to go back and think about them. Yeah, it's very there's only one God. I said the means, the medium that put the language can be, might be different. And that's why God said, that's why Jesus had to correct Peter and said to Peter, Don't call that which are clean unclean. Peter thought there was another other worshiping, and so he was following that God had clean unclean. Yeah, and so and anyway, you know, I'm just want, I, want to, I just wanted to throw that one in also, even as we go. So please um let's earn each other. And let's see God in each other so that you'll be able to, you know, respect and, and celebrate and, and not dehumanize and demonize people. Because if I don't respect you, if I don't regard you, if I see you as a piece of meat, it's uh, easy for me to dehumanize because you're Muslim or you're Hindu. So who are you? You are, you are nothing. You say about that God. So, you know, F off. Sorry. I mean, get, get, out, uh, I mean get, get out of place. No, you are human being. God lives in you. We are all the same. Number two, um, what is God saying to you in 2020, uh, 2020, 2021? What is God saying to you? What has God said to you, brother? 
uh, one of my teachers in school back, back in Louisiana said to me, brother, trust your heart, trust your heart, you know, trust your heart. Um, and, and, you know, some of us you have already gone past certain things. Trust your heart. Hmm? Let me also say this. I, I, I've just learned not long ago that the cemetery is not a place that many books were not written. I don't believe it. You know, I'll prove it to you. But we are so interconnected that if a thought comes into the mind of Pasanana and, and, and uh, to my mind, okay, let me use myself, and I don't do it. The same idea will go to Pasanana or go to Apostle K. Hey, that's how God works. We are so interconnected. When an idea comes to me and I don't do it, to go to Barbara. Now listen to this. One time my wife said to me, Mark Jackson knew this. Hear me, oh, Mark Jackson knew this. And so according to uh, this, uh, what she said to me, when Mark Jackson get a song at 2 a.m., he will call his manager. The manager will say, Mark, it's only uh, 2 a.m. Mark Jackson will say, so, he will say this. Uh, Sir, if you don't write it, Prince will get the same song. I uh, think Prince is one of the one of his competitors. I mean, those, those of you that are into you know Prince, well, I've forgotten the same name. Says if you don't write it now, Prince will get the song. Now you, you wonder, I mean, how? That is what it is. Any idea that comes to you, if you don't work with it, that idea will go to another person. It doesn't mean we are we are skin church. No, no, we are all God's church. I mean, so I hear some pastors. God, God told them they were treacherous. Ah, well, that's their, that, that's their definition. I can't say they were wrong. But to me, everybody said, everybody's God's first choice. Just that ideas are like waves, okay, and energy, and it, it's flowing. So in the cemetery, there's no book that was meant, that book had been written by another person. <laughs> so don't be afraid. When it comes to you, do it. Go for it. That which maybe you are doing, somebody had an idea, but they were afraid to do that. Is why you maybe that is why you're doing it. Doesn't mean you know the person was rubbish or you're not a third choice. It's, it's God's doing and it's flowing through uh, the waves. That's what's happening. And and quantum physicists will tell us quantum entanglement is happening here uh, in, in London. The same thing hap is happening there in Kakayan de Oro. The same because it's a chip of the old book. Same. And that's fulfillment of, the, of that in, in the book of Isaiah. I see. So please go for it. Be courageous, be bold. Go for it. There's so many noise going, going about sometimes. Oh, you know, the Bible says, the Bible says, I love the, I love the Bible. You understand? Like we read, uh, you said in John 16, they took something from that thing and then they, and then somebody uh, saw it and then they were able to, I mean, that person was able to, you know, put it together properly for us. Listen, the Holy Ghost is still speaking. He's still speaking. And like my John said, if all that Christ did were, 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 were to put, I um, mean, were, were to be documented, no book. You know what that means? So God is in you, he's guiding you. He knew there'll be COVID. And so that is why, uh, you know, not that he broke COVID, but he knew there'll be, that is why, you know, all these engagements and all that. So please be courageous hmm, and go for it. It might not be conventional, it might not be beautiful, it might not be nice, but so long as it sits with you and you're convinced about it, go into your closet, meditate upon it, meditate upon it, gather the, gather the strength for it and go for it. Now, if it doesn't work, after the, if it doesn't, that's what that's your definition. But like what Apostle Sam said, uh, the guy who, who did who did the, the lights, he said it was a thousandth time, thousandth time that that's why he got to know how this thing went. To the 999 to him, he didn't fail. It was only this one that I mean the the, the thousandth time that the whole thing you know started working. So please let's take note of some of these things. And that is a prophetic declaration for 2021 for me. Um, I leave it to the apostles and bishops you know, on the line to you know, continue. I'm done. Thank you very much, my brothers and sisters. Thank you. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Saints of God, it's just been an amazing and a phenomenal time. I know I love fireworks. I watch fireworks <laughs> at midnight and I encourage you to do the same. If you want to um, go and continue elsewhere, you are free, you are liberty too. Um, if you want to go to bed, enjoy your bed because I'll sleep as well. Um, and when the bishop was talking, uh, something just dropped in my spirit. That God, or whether you want to call it, whether universe or, or source or light, whatever you want to call it. He, he is linking everything. There's a scripture. Everything you desire together. He's linking everything you desire together for you. He knows. 
the essence of what you are looking for. And when you were saying that um, um, there are no books in the grave, it just hit me like that. You can, you can ask my wife, there, there, a, few, a few times that I've had ideas come to me. I remember when um, God told me to do a music album of some very rich songs that I love, that I was called, that I'd rewritten. Um, some that were tree that I put them into English and some that were English that I put them to tree. Far back as 2001. And, and I, 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 I will be there and I will just sing them. And I've written thousands and thousands of them. From 2012 to 2015, three different people did my songs as I wrote it when I was on the one in my room where nobody was there. Thank you. Thank they you. did them verbatim. Thank you. This guy being one of them, um, um, the guy who sang uh, was Kobononi. Um, I've forgotten his name. Joe, 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 Joe Metal. Yep. Okay. So it is true. He knows the essence of what you are looking for and he's put it in there, made it available for us. So you've got to be bold. And if there's anything I'm taking away from today is be bold. You've, 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 you have got to be bold and just embrace essence um, and, and, and consider yourself worthy of receiving, consider yourself um, 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 enthusiastic and consider yourself inspired and equipped to take advantage and make the most of every opportunity that comes your way. Yeah. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Failure for you is not an option. Mm -hmm. Often I, I, I get ready, I, I, I need to close my, lap, my, my, my laptop, if not, I won't stop talking. Okay, hold on. So uh, um, often I get very sad when believers or, or, or church folk, they say, oh, I'm, I tried, they say it didn't work out. Oh, um, so maybe it wasn't the will of God for me. That's a lazy man's thinking. I'd rather try it, succeed, and find out that God didn't want me to do it and go, you know what, I did it very well. I'm going to do what God wants me to do now. <laughs> don't, 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 don't give yourself an excuse for failure. No. Do it, do it well, excel in it. And if you, if, if, if you want to do something else, you can move on and do something else. That's right. Hallelujah. Don't, don't, don't give yourself an excuse for failure just because uh, and say, who told you it wasn't God, God's will? Why do you always have to find God's will only when you fail? Oh, brother. <laughs> Brother, say it again. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yapon. <laughs> bless Jesus. God richly bless us. And um, those of you who have kept faith, who have asked for faith with us on Facebook, um, we celebrate you. We love you. And um, enjoy a powerful week and um, 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 powerful year. Um, if you don't mind, all of us on, um, just show your face, say hi, just 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 speak some power into someone's life and just say you know, you know, just, just release a blessing. We have already been blessed. Just release a blessing in someone's life whilst we wrap up. Amen. God bless you. I like your space. Thank you. <laughs> is, is that a blessing? You know, that you yeah, I, li I like spares. I, I have I have two spares with Pastor Prince and, and Mama Sandra. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. <laughs> hey, Wow. Come on, you're looking great, you know. We can live, can we? <laughs> Thank you.
you all richly bless you enjoy enjoy your night enjoy your day oh, oh enjoy the year it's been awesome it's been awesome such great awesome fellowship you're free to leave you're free to leave you're free to leave Happy New Year, saints of God. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year.